Hello everybody and welcome to part two of my list. See the first part if you haven't. At number eight, we have Trick Room. Trick Room has, I believe, 20 PP with no power and 100% accuracy because it's actually a strategic move. Surprise. Trick Room makes the slower Pokemon go first for five turns. Really helpful for competitive battling, which I used to do a lot of in the fourth gem, but not as much anymore. But it's really good because half of my team members are usually pretty slow, so... It's good flair in the game if you have slow Pokemon, such as maybe a Torterra without EV training, or... A Bronzong or Palkia, as you see in the image. Overall, I like Trick Room because... Its animations look really good, and it's... A pretty useful move if you know how to use strategies for Trick Room. But number 7 and onward is, I believe, much better, in my opinion. Number 7 is the last move I promised, but I actually like. Aura Sphere! 20 PP, 80 power, 100% accuracy. It is a move that I like to believe is specific for Lucario, but it's not. Most Pokemon can learn it. That are fighting, t well, not most, but a lot, such as Mewtwo or the Lucario line. But I like this move simply because of its look, how useful it is in Smash Brothers, and it just appeals to me as not much of a Shadow Ball or Evolve, but of an improvement of Shadow Ball. But number five is much better. Such an idiot. I meant number six. Number six is a poison type move, Venashock. Venishock, as cool as it sounds, only has 50%, 50 power with 100% accuracy. But you have Pokemon with Toxic for, say, Coughing, Scolipede. 100 power! Yes, it is a great move to use with Poison types. And other types that can learn as long as they can learn Toxic with it. It's good for badly poisoning an opponent if it gets the chance to, as well as if you can have a Toxic on the opponent. It's a very good damaging move, along with Sludge Bomb and... A self-destruct on a coughing or a sludge bomb on or sludge wave or any other poison type on other Pokemon or or mixed attackers. It is a great move. Overall, I love Venishock. But next move, not, not this next on the list is really helpful for raising your attack. That could possibly help Venishock. Number 5 is not an attack oriented move. At number 5 is Sword Stance, which sharply raises your attack by 2 stages with 30 PP. And it doesn't have an accuracy meaning because it is deflects on your own stats. I like this move because it's the only attack powering up move that I can actually find useful aside from Dragon Dance. Which, this takes a spot because Dragon Dance... A was already used, and B, already a Dragon-type move, was put in there. So next we go on to number 4, which is pretty high-flying, if you know what I mean. Number 4 is the only HM move on the list. list. It's Fly. Fly has a nice 80 power with 100% accuracy, 15 PP. And it can be used outside of battle to take you to any destination. Why well, I love flies because of its power and its usefulness outside of battle, as well as every flying type and some non-flying types can learn it. But overall, fly is very useful because of its outside of battle effects, and it's a pretty unique move to use if you have some strategies to it. Overall, fly is only number three though. Fly is only number four though because there are a couple other moves that are better than it. Give it a Thunderbolt! At number 3, it's Thunderbolt! With a nice 80 power, 100% accuracy, a great move for electric types, and anyone else that can learn it. It can be used in a wide variety on Pokemon, and it's very helpful with dealing with pesky water, electric, and bug types. Even though it's not super effective against bug types, it's a great attacking move. It's, I like its animations, especially in Gen 4 and 5. It's not as good as Thunder, but I chose this move over Thunder because it's not super overpowered and doesn't miss a ton, like the next move on the list. And if you narrow it down by now, the next move is can only be one of two types. But aside from that, 
Thunderbolt's a really great move. The first time I ever had it was on my Luxray in Gen 4. Because I didn't start playing until Gen 4, but I've seen every generation. Overall, Thunder is a great move. It, you can use it competitively, but I'm not sure about the strategy on how to. You can look up something for that because I'm not sure. But overall, I love Thunder. And it takes the number three Thunderbolt and it takes the number three slot on this list. At number two, we have Fire Blast. Fire Blast is, has a massive 120 power with 70% accuracy. Fire Blast has the least accuracy of the what I like to call the three epic moves. Fire Blast along with Blizzard and Thunder. Fire Blast used to always cost about 7,9600 Poke Dollars depending on where you are in each region. And because now TMs are always stay with you. Ha <laughs> ha The power is mine. But overall, I love Fire Blast because of how many Pokemon can use it. All fire types. Some of the legendaries. Pretty much every legendary can use it. Mew. And it's very awesome with dealing with pesky, grass, bog and ice types. But overall, I love Fire Blast. It is a godsend to have on any team that you produce, especially for just standard play. But overall, there's one more that surpasses it. You'll find that out now. At number one, we have my favorite move, Octazooka. Octazooka first appeared in Generation 2 with Octillery as its sole user, but is branched off into other Pokemon being able to lure us to the move. With a decent 60, 65, 70, or 75 power. I don't know the exact number, but I know it's one of those four. With 100% accuracy. I've used Noctillery every gen I've played since Gen 4, and I have played Gen 2 as well. But overall, Octillery is best known for using this move with only 10 PP. It is great against fire types, rock types, ground types, anything that's weak against. That Pokemon are weak against to this. It is awesome. Akazuka also gets the spot because of its animation. Especially in Pokemon Battle Revolution where it looks like this black cannonball is coming right at you. And it kind of reminds me of Bowling Ball, which I love going bowling. So Akazuka, I'm so glad you're in the games. And I hope the developers never take you out of these games. So Akazuka, with conviction, is my number one favorite Pokemon attack. I will see you guys next time for any video that I do. So take care and keep watching the videos. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. At number six, we have the poison type move, Venishock. You may think this is bad with only 50 power and 100% accuracy. No! You have another poison type like coughing, then use toxic. 100 power! Yes, it is a great move to use, especially in the Burbank Gym. Burbank? Burbank Gym. That sucked. I need to retake this. At number two, we have Fire. <laughs> uh, good God. This is going to take a while. At number two, we have the move Fire Blast. Fire Blast is a fire type move with a massive... 120 power with 100% no wait dang it messed up my facts